Have you ever had players just do this in Salmon Run? Stand still after getting splatted? Yes indeed, this is one of the more annoying things I've been seeing in Freelance recently, and it's really frustrating to see it happen more and more often. Hey there everyone, it's Haas here, and in this Salmon Run video we'll talk about a common occurrence that Freelance players tend to do, which is just standing still not doing anything after getting splatted, or just really not wanting to leave the shore or those few eggs near them, waiting for a revive that might just not happen in time. One of the tips I usually give for players one thing to improve in Salmon Run is to simply not get splatted and try to stay alive as long as you can. Since a single splat can waste a lot of time if you think about it, a couple of seconds already just a splat animation and then who knows how long it will take to actually get a revive. But of course, we all get splatted from time to time, even the best of us, so don't feel so bad when that happens, but it's absolutely vital to make sure you're still helping your team when you're down, or not give up and waste precious time. One of the most common mistakes I see players do is what I showed earlier, just standing still as a life belt, not doing anything, not moving, not pressing that help button to let the team know where you are, and just wasting a lot of valuable seconds that otherwise could be avoided. Just think about this from your teammate's perspective, likely they are in the middle of an already hectic wave, and now there's only three of them instead of the full team of four workers, making it even worse. Likely they haven't noticed you splatted yet, and even if they have, it's not always easy to look out where your coworkers are splatted, and pressing that help button every now and then can really help in making sure your teammates know you're splatted, or where you are even, and help you with a quick revive. Sometimes it really just takes one press of the help button and usually there's already a coworker hurling a splat bomb towards you that will instantly revive you and you're ready to go. Second common mistake that I usually see is a very similar situation when someone is splatted, as they do spam the help button and you know where they are, but they stubbornly stay where they are, usually near 4 or 5 golden eggs on the shore, behind multiple salmonid bosses and a whole horde where you aren't able to revive them. Now I do get it, really, you fought for those golden eggs hard and you'd like to collect them, but you have to look around and see your surroundings, is it actually possible to revive you there? Or better question, is it a good place for your teammates to be in the first place? There are always more golden eggs than needed in a wave and it feels like a disaster, but leaving 3 or 4 eggs disappear near the shore when there are 2 or 3 bosses near your life belt isn't really that big of a deal now, is it? Just get closer to your team, get revived, and get those other easier to obtain eggs instead. When you're down, always try to move into a more favorable position where your team can revive you. More so think of a position where you think it's easy to throw a split bomb to that would revive you. The best place usually to move towards is always the basket on every stage, as likely your teammates will eventually cross the basket and see that you need a revive. So moving towards this one checkpoint always pays off, instead of staying near the shore where no one might get near you. So my advice here is not to be stubborn, move away from bad positions and always prioritize revive first and foremost, not eggs or other goals, since getting revived is the most important thing in that moment. As a bonus tip here, you heard me say this throughout the video, if you need to revive someone, I can't recommend enough to use splat bombs instead of your normal weapons to do so. Splat bombs are something everyone has, and fortunately they have excellent range that you can hurl them for really easy revives without actually getting closer to danger at all. This is why it's also important to think of places where it's easy to throw a bomb, so that more of your teammates can start using splat bombs instead of potentially jumping into the thickest of situations no one wants to be in in the first place. So there you go everyone, getting splatted is very normal in Salmon Run, but it's not the end of all things. Continue to be active and help your team by showing them where you are and by swimming into a good position where you can easily be brought back into action. You'll quickly notice even when you think all is lost, easy revives can really make a huge difference throughout your shifts and will help you climb the ranks of Salmon Run faster and just have an overall better time playing the game. Let's work together and make Salmon Run better, shall we? Thank you very much for watching everyone, remember the channel is full of guides and more tips to help you improve, so if you're interested make sure to subscribe and check out more videos here. We also have a community discord you can join through the link in the description where you can find a bunch of other amazing co-workers to play Salmon Run with, so feel free to join us. For now, take care everyone, and I'll see you the next time.